So there's only eight reindeer in it. It's called the night before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas when all three died. Not a creature was there, not even a mouse. The sparklings were hung by the chimney with care. He hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds. While visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma in her kerchief and I in my cap just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Way to the window I flew like a flash. I tore open the shutter and threw up the sash. The little on the breast of the new fallen snow. Gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondrous eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than he was his torches they came, and he whistled and he shouted and he called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, Uncommon, Uncupid. My daughter and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, when they mount to the sky. So up to the house top the porches they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkle I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoop. As I drew in my hand and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came to the mouth. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished, in ashes and sun. The bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, and his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as snow. The stump of the pipe he held tight in his teeth, and his smoke beat in circles, his head like a reed. He had a broad face and a little round belly. And shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, and he right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of himself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon made me to know I had nothing to dread. Spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all of his stuff. Then he turned with a jerk and lined his fingers on his knees, gave a nod and left the chimney. <clears throat> he sprang to his sled and to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down on a pistol. And I heard him exclaim as he rode on the sled, Merry Christmas to all and to all of your dreams. Now I hope somebody reads the story to you on Christmas Eve just before you get ready to go to bed. Because when you go to bed and go to sleep, that's when you go. But someday when you get a little older, maybe if you're old enough now, you may want to read this story yourself on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> 